The London Weekly. Catching up with the celebrities. Okay, good evening. Uh, this is uh, Angus Alden talking to Phil Tufnell, uh, who has uh, recently just uh, given given up smoking. Uh, good, e- good afternoon, Phil. How are you? I'm very well. Cool. And uh, how long have you been a smoker? I've been a smoker for, crikey, about 25 years now. So uh, I decided it was time to uh, give, it a, give it a go and pack it in. So uh, it's been tough. Falling off the wagon a couple of times, but uh, I'm still I'm still in there. Still still hanging in. Okay. How many, how many cigarettes did you smoke a day? I must have been on about a pack a day, probably. But then, you know, at a weekend or if you're out at a party, it, it could go up to even more than that. So I just felt it was high time. I started just getting paint in the chest a bit and a bit wheezing. So I just thought it was high time to sort of give it a crack and, and give up. How did that affect the, uh, the sporting career with the, with the cricket? And uh, also, you, you appeared on Strictly Come Dancing uh, last year. How did that affect yeah. your performance? Well, um, well, when you're younger and you're running about and you're, and you're sort of having a cigarette and what have you, it doesn't really matter so much, does it? Because you're still pretty young and fit and healthy and what have you. But I did the dancing in the first couple of days of training. It, it was quite shocking. I was a bit <laughs> out of breath and I was feeling to myself that I'm unfit. So that was just another trigger that sort of made in my head that made me sort of think to myself, well, now's the time to try and give up because, you know, I didn't like, uh, I wanted to be able to sort of like go out and do what I did when I was younger, but I'm afraid that's not the case, is it? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, uh, I thought of myself now's the time. And uh, how many times have you tried to give up before? Yeah, I've tried to give up a couple of times before. Um, New Year's resolutions that sort have of failed miserably, <laughs> um, what, you know, that's what I mean, had flu for a couple of days or something, it's sort of like, oh, right, I'm going to try and give up now. Yeah. But, uh, none of them have, uh, have worked really well, so I thought it was just time to, uh, you know, seek some help, so I went down to Boots, my local pharmacist, and uh, had a chat with the, uh, the, the pharmacist down there. Okay, and um, when you were quit, tried to quit before, I mean, some people have gone down the, uh, have been known to use the hypnotist route to stop smoking, have you ever thought about that one, or...? Yeah, I tried that. I did try that once, but I, I came out. I had a very nice sleep for about half an hour, and then lit up a cigarette. <laughs> oh God! Um, it could, it could, plus, it cost me a few quid, so I thought, well, I won't go back and do that. So um, that one obviously didn't work for me. But I've still, I've got the patches now and the gum and the inhalator, sort of cigarette inhalator and stuff. So just trying to do it that way. So you're doing the full whack, really? How are your How's the uh, How are your family and friends? Uh, what are they saying? They reckon you'll do it this time, or do they think you give up again, or? Well, my wife's joined me on Wednesday. Last Wednesday, my wife gave up as well with me to give me some support. So I think that that's the main reason. That's the, that's the crucial thing, really, is about the support angle. Uh, what's the uh, symptoms? Are you both sort of uh, experiencing the same symptoms? I mean, has she been smoking as long as you? Or you have these, uh, no, she's a bit more of a sort of social smoker than I am. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, well, I've started not to get so much chest pain, sort of many chest pains now. Um, you know, starting to sort of like feel a little bit more relaxed in the chest area. Okay. Um, Um, you know, but I must hold my hands up. Last Saturday I had a couple, you know, I had a couple, but as the pharmacist said, you know, it's not the end of the world, don't beat yourself up too much about it. Mm. Did, well, um, you were on the I'm a Celebrity uh, as well, um, did, you, were you, did you have any uh, cigarettes while you were there, any sneaky ones or? Well, you're allowed, I think, 10 a day or something, yeah, oh, okay. so we, we just had that sort of uh, ration. Are there a lot of sportsmen that, uh, that smoke or, you know, is, is it a, a common thing uh, within the sports? I'm not quite sure, I mean, when I was playing sport there were more sports. Yeah, definitely. Um, every smoker has a dreadful smoking confession. Have you got any uh, confessions on, on smoking, you know, desperate measures? Or No. No? Okay. Um, now that you obviously quit trying to quit smoking, I mean, you know, if you're going down to the pub with your friends or, you know, you're out of social si- um, situation, um, if they went outside for a cigarette, would you sort of be tempted to join them or...? Well, yes, this is, this is the main thing, that, that this is why I've sort of fallen off the wagon a couple of times, really, is in those situations where it becomes harder. During the week, it seems to be a little bit easier mm. to, uh, to cut them out, but it's during the weekend when you're having a, uh, a fag with your mates or, or whatever, um, and you're having a beer down the pub. 
hub or what have you. So that, that, that's the time when I'm finding it the hardest. Is it is it the craving that you think that causes people to who, who try to quit to start again? Is it just the craving that does it, or? Well, I'm not sure necessarily about the craving. It's just sort of like uh, for me, it's more you know. So during the week, it's been all right. I think it's more the sort of like. It's the habit, isn't it? Yeah. Really, but you know. Like some, like I try and qu- I've been trying to quit biting yeah. my nails for so long, and it's, uh, that's not quite happening at the moment. Yeah, I think I think uh, eating eat, eat oranges or tangerines. Whenever I fancy a cigarette, I have a tangerine now to give it something to do with your hands. Okay. You get a nice bit of fruit instead. So, what would you advise other people that are, that are uh, trying to quit? Would you know? I'd say go down and get some support from your from your boots care pharmacist because mm. she sat me down, had a very nice chat with her, did all the sort of the lung tests With the um, with the smoking ban in uh, in England and in public places, um, what was your attitude to the smoking ban? How did, did were you in favour of it when you were a smoker, and, and has that attitude oh, yeah, changed? Yeah, or? That, that's the rules, and so yeah, um, that's just sort of like you know, obviously when the smoke outside pubs and stuff. Yeah, so you, you were quite happy with it at the time. So it doesn't really it hasn't really changed your mind on in terms of when you were smoking anyway. Um, would you ban smoking, you know, on a wider scale across London, not just in public places, but, you know, if you... If no, I would, I don't think I would, no, I don't, no. As a Londoner, uh, well, you, grew, you, you grew up in uh, North London, um, what would be your uh, top three best attractions in, in London? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Emirates Football Club, Emirates, go and watch a game at the Arsenal, mm-hmm. Big Ben and the London Eye. Okay, cool. The London Weekly. Catching up with the celebrities.